here in the pollution domes, I was interested in not having an intellectual debate about it, but having a kind of visceral response, a bodily experience. My name's Michael Pinsky. I'm an artist. It, within this installation is five domes, and within each dome there is a recreation of the quality of the air from a different city in the world. The point of this installation is that you move from each environment without acclimatising to it, so you get that shock. People who are seasoned urban dwellers who live right in the middle of big cities, they could walk through this and almost go, oh, it's not really as bad as I thought it was. But then other people, I mean, I had uh, two women who came from the west of Ireland who literally couldn't get through it. They wanted to, but they came into London. They couldn't get as far as New Delhi. They went round the other way. My original plan was just to go to these places and suck in the air into a compressor and then release it very slowly in the domes. But um, one chemist said that wouldn't work. They said it would become highly volatile. But the other thing is that if you release it in a contained environment like carbon monoxide, you can kill people. So I had to look at ways of emulating the pollution. Each dome has an essence in it that's been created from a perfumer who lives in that city. So New Delhi, the perfumer lives in New Delhi and has an intimate relationship with the pollution there, and likewise all the other cities here. New Delhi suffers from... I live in London and I bring my kids to school past many cars spewing out diesel, uh, diesel fumes. It's something that really touched um, on my life in a profound way. <laughs> People don't change their behaviour unless it's uh, around an issue that affects them every day.